Just outline for us what is contained in this Memorandum of Understanding. Even the Memorandum of Understanding has got 14 emergency measures that must be implemented within the next year, that is by the end of 2014. Now, the main point from that memorandum is that we want a zero tolerance towards those who do fault the African elephants, and we want the maximum sentences for those found guilty of killing our elephants. Now, of course, law enforcement across borders is always a concern. We don't have a police force that can police across our African borders. Now, they did say that they want to enhance this law enforcement, and they want more resources for those that are involved with the poaching of elephants and looking after elephants in Africa. Lizette, what is the picture looking, at, looking like at the moment, um, uh, percentage-wise? How many of Africa's elephants are we standing to lose in the next year? Even that is a very interesting question. Even the people that are here that work with elephants for years are saying that one of the biggest concerns that we do have is the fact that we don't know how big our African elephant population is and we do not know how many of them are killed every year. We don't know how they die, if it's natural causes, if they are poached, if they are snared. Now, very interesting, uh, yesterday, late, we did hear that um, Paul Allen, one of Microsoft's founders, made available seven million US dollars for African census on elephants specifically, and that will be the first census that will take place. The last one that we had was in the 1970s, and that will be an 18-month census where they will literally fly to um, countries in Africa and count elephants and look at the population, how they are structured, how healthy they are, and also try to determine um, if they are approached and how do they actually die. Lizette, uh, where are the big problem areas on the continent? Which countries uh, are losing the most elephants? CITES identified eight countries that they, uh, from their data that they have been disseminating for the past couple of years, see as problem areas. Now, in Africa, the range states where elephants are found, the two problem countries is Kenya and Tanzania. Then we are seeing that the ivory is going across Malaysia and Vietnam, uh, that is the transit countries, where it then ends up um, in Thailand and China, which is the two big consumer countries. Now, CITES have told these countries that they will have to comply with law enforcement, that they are seen as weak in terms of the smuggling of ivory, even rhino horn, um, through their ports, and that they will have to look at stronger law enforcement uh, because they are weak link as far as this is concerned. And, and Lizette, what is the picture looking like in South Africa? And you talk about the link between rhino poaching and, and, and elephant poaching. Uh, is there a link and do they use the same sort of routes? I did speak to the responsible for Africa at CITES in terms of um, elephant and rhino poaching. And I asked them specifically why in South Africa we see our rhino being poached but not our elephant. So what is said to me currently, it is basically a question of supply and demand and the price being right. Now, the price for rhino horn currently on the black market is much higher than the price for elephant ivory. Now, in the Kruger National Park, he says because our law enforcement is so strong there, it is not really worth it for a person who poaches uh, ivory to go to the Kruger National Park and poach our elephants because he's not getting the amount of money he should um, for the ivory, and therefore the risk is too big for him. Uh, that is why we are seeing our rhino being poached so severely because the price for rhino horn is so high. Well, Lizette uh, Labas Kachni, thank you very much for joining us this morning. She was on the line uh, from Khabaroni in Botswana, uh, where the government of that country and the International Union for Conservation of Nature are hosting a, a three-day African elephant uh, summit to try and deal with the scourge of elephant poaching and uh, the ivory trade on the African continent. Well, we